What's going on, boxing fans all over the world? It's Pool Town of Boxing. Coming at you with another video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Jose Ramirez versus Josh Taylor. They will be fighting for Undisputed on May the 22nd. Jose Ramirez has 26 wins, 0 losses, and 17 KOs. He is the WBO Super Lightweight Champion. He is 28. He stands at 5'10 with a 72-inch reach. Josh Taylor has 17 wins, 0 losses, and 13 KOs. He is 30 years old. He stands at 5'10. He has a 69-inch reach. He holds the WBA and the IBF titles at super lightweight. He is the unified champion. Now, both fighters have a common opponent in the incredible Victor Postal. He now stands at 31 wins, 3 losses, and 12 KOs. He lost to the great Terrence Crawford, and he lost to Josh Taylor and Jose Ramirez themselves. These are the only three losses that both fighters, but that this Victor Postal has had. So, the only difference is Josh Taylor won by unanimous decision, and Jose Ramirez won by majority decision. Josh Taylor, most impressive victories to me was by Regis Progate, Gray, Ivan Branchek, and Victor Postal himself. Jose Ramirez, my, his most impressive win to me was Damaris Hooker, and he won that fight decisively. Just being stronger, harder puncher, and he was able to get Maurice Hooker out of there. Now, in this fight, it's going to be a dog fight because Josh Taylor has grits. He has a fighter's mentality. He is strong willed, he is fast. He likes to fight on the inside, he likes to go to the body. So does Jose Ramirez. He likes to go to the body. He likes to stand in the pocket. He likes to put on the pressure. He likes to make sure he's in front of you at all times. Dosh Taylor has quicker feet. He has the superior speed. But sometimes he gives up that speed by going to the inside and using his rapid combinations to the body, his left hook to the head, that, that's very unpredictable. He uses it on the inside, when he's on the break, you know, Josh Taylor will be coming around with that left hook. He's a good jabber. He has a nice jab. Quick feet. Uh, not only does uh, Jose Ramirez pressure you, he does have a good explosiveness from the outside. The way he closed the distance and range is very unpredictable. The way he throws his shots. Uh, he throws hard shots from um, different angles, like hooks. And, you know, he has a strong jab. He, ha he has uh, underrated quickness, in my opinion. And I see Ramirez being the stronger fighter as far as power. As far as uh, lasting and durability and punch resistance, I give that to uh, Josh Ramirez. Not Josh Ramirez, uh, Jose Ramirez. I give that to him. Josh Taylor will probably win the first four to five rounds because usually it takes Jose Ramirez time to, to catch up, to get his rhythm going, and then all of a sudden, he turns up a couple of gears. Can Josh Taylor handle the time when Jose Ramirez turns up his gears? And he will turn up the gears and the pressure. 
can Josh T Taylor handle it? You know, he is tough. He is mentally strong. But can he handle that kind of power, that kind of determination to get inside the pocket, constantly pressuring you all the time? I see Josh Taylor handle Regis Prograde, went mono-mono, but I do not think that Josh Taylor can go mono-mono with Jose Ramirez on the inside. Too much power, too much determination going on. So, I see Jose Ramirez winning this fight, possibly stopping Josh Taylor in round 10. You know, maybe Josh Taylor, if he can stay on the outside and stay away from Jose Ramirez's relentless pressure, don't get caught on the ropes, he might be able to outbox uh, Jose Ramirez. But I doubt it. I think he's going to lose this fight, and I think Jose Ramirez is going to be the undisputed champion at 140. That's what Cool Kind of Boxing thinks about it. You guys, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget, y'all, no, don't go right here, loud dog. The that? No, don't go right here, loud dog. I'll see you guys in the next one.